Hello friends, testing technique chapter 2 and now we'll see about the state based or a graph based testing. We have already seen about black box testing and the reasoning behind the black box testing and how to do it. We have seen the requirement based testing, the uh, boundary value analysis, decision table, then we had seen equivalence partitions and now we'll see about the state based or a graph based testing. So state based is the product under test. Test is a language processor, mainly compiler, uh, your operating system. Operating system, not basically, but the compiler, the uh, automation language, with, uh, the state change or the final state or definite state. So remember your PCS circuit theory of computation or theory of computer science. So how you do the uh, non-deterministic automata and deterministic automata DFA, NFA. So there you have a number of states. One was the initial state and the other was final state and how that flow was directed from one state to another. The same way, the same way the requirement is categorized or defined in the form of a state. That means when the requirement changes from one state to another, the initial from the start to some other state, like moving state, like working or a stop or a pause, on or kind of example. And later on in the end condition, this, this state we're going to test. So in this test, the states, the action, the events, they're going to be tested. Now suppose of a compiler we are talking about, we have a syntax of a language. It is automatically linked itself to a state machine, as I said. State machine diagram, I hope you have studied in UML, Unified Modern Language. You have a state machine diagram that when a motor is on, so on is one state, the initial. So how it triggers? The trigger is the, when I switch on. The switch on the event followed is the machine is on the motor is on so the on state on till it's working the sound is coming it's drawing up the water till the water is the tank is full once the tank is full the uh, the button is pressed again the button is pressed there is again the action and then the machine stops that is the final state so from certain events like from first initial event to final events what all the events has what all the state transition because the state has been transited from one action to another. So this has to be documented. This has to be tested to see, to investigate, to check whether the expected behavior after all, the requirement, this is the one kind of your requirement. So in the end, we check the result. The expected behavior is simulated with this test. Test function, the test test is according to the requirement, desired requirement or skill there is any chances that requirement differs and the output is different. So now, the next step, you see the state diagram. This is the state transition diagram where you see the number of states is mentioned is 5. Okay. In your state machine diagram, you have uh, the final state. You have the double circle diagram. But since this is not my machine state machine diagram, this is just my plain state transition. That means my state transition is moving from one state to another with some transit, with some event cause. And what are the event cause? Now, suppose state 1 is moved to the state 2 with the event of plus or or. And whenever they they hit, they encounter with plus or or sign or the or the word, they will change their state to another. And same way from second to third state, if you see there is a decimal point transition, and again three to four there is a digit. That means it's followed by a digit. The digit can be a two digit or three digit. Then five to four, five to four. Yes, the arrow is going to the upward. See, there's a final state. So, from 5 to 4 is a blank because the 1 to 5 is blank. So, 5 will move to 4 with the blank state. So, 4 is my initial end state, of course. Now, since you have heard about this diagram, so this diagram can state that, that the start from 1 state, the start state, the initial state is 1. Okay. So, choose a path. That means we have chosen one path 
where the arrow indicates remember follow your arrow and again if there is an arrow the self loop that is pointing to itself the same one you follow that you follow till the process to reach the final state so the general line outline for this state this is yes as as looking at the diagram i explained you now you just see the next is the current state what is the input and it moves to the next state of course many states can move a uh, many states or one state can move to the many states because it is hit or triggered by an action so as i explained you i was looking at the diagram i explained you and the same mentioned in my output table my state transition table that current state is my one when the input is triggered one it moves to the next state two since we have covered this one so i'll just move ahead so now i just want to explain you one more thing that general and outline for using the state with this testing with respect to language processor like compiler identify the grammar for the scenario in the above example we have represented the diagram as a state machine okay so design the state case now how what will you do you will design the test cases corresponding to each valid state input the state input is this plus or blank decimal now you will design this considering your test cases input and then designing test cases corresponding to most of the invalid combinations like from 1 2 3 will it move no there is no start because there is no step directed transitions are directed to 1 2 3 so you have to take the valid also and invalid also to make the test cases strong so in this way we have completed the state transition table next we'll see white box testing till then bye